Hey, welcome back to Fifth Drive Channel. So a while back I reviewed this bag here from Nutsack. And so what we're going to be doing today is making a Dragonox to send back to Matt over at Nutsack. Uh, just for him to review, kind of as appreciation for him sending this uh, really nice bag. And so I chose these uh, Micarta scales. Uh, they are made also from canvas. The bag is also made from wax canvas. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to send him back something made of kind of the same materials. I think you might appreciate that. And so one of the things we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be putting a deep carry pocket clip on the back scale here. So this is titanium, it's from MXG Gear. So you can see it's gonna be nice and deep once we put that on there. And we're also going to be using some orange G10 for the liners. And I think it's gonna look really well in the end with the uh, this green micarta and then having that, the orange right there. I think it's gonna add some really nice coloring uh, to the build. And so since it's gonna be a Dragonox, of course we'll be using a Spyderco Dragonfly. And we'll be placing this on a layer of its own. So for that, we're gonna be taking apart uh, this Swiss Army knife, using one of the springs for there. And then for the tool set, we're actually going for something slim, um, especially because we have this pocket clip on there. If it'd be too thick, it's not gonna be coming in the pocket. And so we'll be choosing just a couple of tools here. So we're gonna grab some scissors. Person I really like the scissors on the Swiss Army knives. All right, I need a multi-purpose hook the back of that. All right, so that's gonna be our last layer. And then, of course, we have the dragonfly in the middle. And for our first layer, we'll be using a 93 millimeter a bottle opener. I choose the 93 millimeter because it's just slightly thicker. It's a larger, uh, it's a larger pry tool per se, or larger, it's just basically it's a little bit thicker than the 91 millimeter. And then we'll be using a spring from the original um, blade layer. And we're also going to need a can opener. And we're gonna need a corkscrew. All right, so the original blade layer, basically, but we have the can bottle opener on it and the corkscrew down below. That's gonna be layer one. And then, like I said, the dragonfly is gonna be um, in the middle. So this will be basically right here, like that. And so just, just gonna have three layers. We keep it nice and thin. And so basically next we can do is we can start taking apart uh, this Swiss Army knife, taking uh, the dragon clip part, modifying some of the springs and stuff, and cutting out the, the liners. All right, so this is uh, basically the tool set. I have everything disassembled, taken apart, all that. And so we're gonna basically need these um, liners. So we get an end, I have two of these here in the middle, and this one right here. All right, and so basically what we'll do next is um, cut these out of G10. Like I said, we'll do some modifications to the springs, and then from there we can be begin assembly.
and basically whatever is remaining along here, I'm just going to go ahead and file that off. And we use some sandpaper, 800 grit. All right, so now we're going to be modifying the spring, the Dragonfly, the 93 millimeter uh, bottle opener, and the spring for that. So we're modifying these four tools. And the base, our, our tools will be done after that, and then we'll just move on to the, uh, to the scales. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do before we begin assembly is we're going to uh, put this deep carry pocket clip onto the back scale. And I'd want it to make this where it would be, um, the tip would be down on the Spyderco, but because of all these uh, slots here for the pin and for uh, the, what's good over here, I think the pick, basically I cannot, I cannot because see how the, uh, the bolts would get in the way of those slots. So we're going to end up having to make it with, it's going to be, it's going to be tip up on the Spyderco and basically just like that. All right. So how we're going to do this, so I'm going to put this right here. How we're going to do this is we're going to, of course, we're going to need some, some Torx, some Torx screws to attach that. And I want to do this uh, with basically with a tap. And so we're going to be using, basically I have this small little hand drill. And it just makes me, gives me a bunch of control. I can go nice and slow. I make sure I get just where I want it uh, to be. So we're gonna be using that, drilling out for that. And they'll be using this uh, T-handle. It's a, uh, uh, the tap wrench, basically. And so we'll be basically cutting these threads into the micarta scale. And then we can go ahead and we'll screw those screws in and attach it that way. And that way, if he wants, he can theoretically remove pocket clip, but then you know, he's going to have, of course, two, two holes there. So I'm not sure that he's going to re be removing it. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll start, like I said, with the, uh, the hand drill. All right, so we got our holes uh, drilled out. So now we're gonna use the tap wrench. I'm gonna cut some threads into that. All right, the same thing on the other side. All right, now we need to do, just attach the uh, pocket clip. Slide these into here. Here in the back, we'll have to cut off because it's just a tidbit too long, but that won't be any difficulty. All right, so that's how the pocket clip turned out. So pretty good, I think. All right, and then for the front scale, what we're gonna do next is gonna take this down and have the the uh, nutsack logo. 
engraved right here. And so I think Matt will really enjoy that, having his logo on the front of this uh, custom Dragonox. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And then we can go ahead and begin assembly. So really pleased with how that turned out. I think it looks great. All right, so our scales are now done, so we can continue uh, now with assembly. All right, and so for that I have these brass uh, pins that I've used from a knife that I took apart. All right, so there it is basically all put together. So now what we need to do is we'll take this out, have these right here, we're pinning these on, that way we can close the knife. But basically, so we got tension on the, the blade, on the rest of the tools, that's what we wanna see. Getting so nice and snappy.
All right, so we can now uh, epoxy these scales on. And before we do that, I'm gonna do, to make it easier to clamp down on these, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the pocket clip. All right, so we'll be using a, a two-part epoxy. It's intended for metal. All right, so we're gonna go let this set. All right, so we're giving the epoxy time to set. So you can see that the scales are nice and flush. All right, so what we're gonna do, is gonna reattach this again. All right, so then the last thing we need to do to finish this up, is gonna need to go ahead and put some, some nice accessories to finish it. All right, so orange would have been awesome, but unfortunately I do not have an orange, nor do I know of any orange ones. So I'm thinking that the green's probably gonna look kind of the coolest in here, this build. Kind of stands out, but again, it's kind of cool the way that looks. So we're gonna use those. And of course it takes a pen. Down here I need a needle. All right, and then for just a little bit more style and a bit more uh, functionality, we'll use these. Uh, this is the, um, the Tortoise Gear Helix Tinder. And so what that is basically, it is um, Tinder for starting a fire. If you haven't seen me review that, be sure to go back and watch that uh, review. And then finishing touches. So we'll go ahead and we'll use, this is the green mini tool. It has a small Phillips screwdriver. I think I'll draw in all the colors really nicely. All right, so. So this build is done. And so with the dragonfly being right in the middle, it's easy, easily accessed with your right thumb without any difficulties or if you're left-handed with your left thumb. Same thing, simply by reaching over uh, one tool, it's easy to access. For those who like using their middle finger, it can be opened. I find it difficult to get it all the way open with my middle finger. But anyways, you see it's got some nice snap to it. That's what we like to see. And the blade is not tapping anywhere. Also good. All right, so the scissors, same thing. Nice and snappy. All right, this we already saw that that snaps. All right, so that is everything for this build. So let me know what you think about that, about that setup, maybe about the colors and the design that I chose. Check out uh, Nutsack and they're really nice bags that they make. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.